St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge is one of the oldest wildlife refuges in the United States. Established in 1931 as a wintering ground for migratory birds, it encompasses 68,000 acres 280 square kilometers spread between Wakulla, Jefferson, and Taylor counties in the state of Florida. The refuge includes several Gulf of Mexico coastal habitats, such as saltwater marshes, islands, tidal creeks, and the estuaries of seven North Florida rivers. It is home to a diverse range of plant and animal life and also has a long history of human use, including structures such as the St. Mark's Lighthouse, the second oldest lighthouse in Florida. The refuge is a gateway site for the Great Florida Birding Trail. St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge offers many different attractions to outdoor enthusiasts. The refuge is inhabited by black bear, bobcat, otter, raccoon, fox, coyote, amphibians, alligator, snakes and many different species of birds including wading birds, shorebirds, waterfowl and raptors. During migrations, bird species and numbers dramatically increase. There are numerous fishing venues and many different freshwater and saltwater fish for fishing enthusiasts. A boat ramp near the lighthouse offers direct access to the St. Mark's River and subsequently, the Gulf of Mexico. The boat ramp is subject to tidal influence and low tides may affect launching and retrieving abilities. Kayakers have direct access to the Gulf from the lighthouse parking lot. Hikers and cyclists have their choice of miles of impoundments and trails to traverse through widely varied habitats and ecosystems. There is a biking trail that runs about 20 miles from south side of Tallahassee all the way down to the nearby town of St. Mark's following an old railroad corridor. The St. Mark's NWR also offers a wide range of subjects and settings for artistic expression via sketching and drawing, painting and photography. The refuge has a large visitor's center with maps and brochures to help the visitors enjoy their trip. Inside the visitor's center is a bookstore offering a wide variety of books and merchandise for sale. Next door to the Visitor's Center is the Education Building offering comfortable meeting facilities in one half of the building and facilities and staff devoted to education in the other half. The refuge attracts a very large volunteer base that assists the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service by volunteering for research projects, outreach and public events such as educational field trips, festivals and historical celebrations. St. Mark's NWR has a very successful friends group in the St. Mark's Refuge Association and a very active photography club and the two organizations are prolific suppliers of volunteers for the refuge. The St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge is home to one of the coveted wintering sites for the endangered whooping cranes that are led south by the ultralight aircraft of Operation Migration. Operation Migration begins training whooping crane chicks with the aircraft shortly after birth and continue to the time of migration when they act as surrogate parents leading the birds south and imprinting their first annual migration. The refuge is also a stopping point for the yearly monarch butterfly migration. A festival is hosted annually around the time of the migration each October to educate people on the practice of tagging monarchs as they continue through their migration. The St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge also served as the inspiration for the setting of author Jeff Vandermeer's Southern Reach trilogy. Access Public accesses to the refuge are located at Panacea Unitotter Lake, in Panacea Bottoms Road, in Panacea Skipper Bay Road, south of Medart may be closed Wakulla Unit Purify Bay Road, in Medart Shell Point Highway, north of Shell Point Wakulla Beach Road, east of Shell Points. Mark's Unit Lighthouse Road, the main entrance, in Newport Mandalay Bay Road, just east of the Osceola River in Taylor County, there is no paved public access to the refuge in Jefferson County. External links St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. Category, Formation of St. Mark's Estuaries St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge consists of seven coastal plain estuaries created from seven North Florida rivers. This refuge stretches 43 miles across three counties, Pete and Friend. 
Within these 43 miles, beaches, tidal creeks, salt marshes, oyster bars and islands dominate the land Pete and Friend. This area is extremely diverse in species due to the large number of estuaries allowing for protection and habitat. The way estuaries circulate water allows nutrients to be trapped and increases production. Turbidity is high due to the funnel shape of each estuary and the rushing of oncoming tides St. Mark's estuaries are tide-dominated rather than wave-dominated. The tides here are small, but significant compared to wave energy because of the gentle slope along the coast. The estuaries are formed by, the accumulation of fine sediments by tides flowing into the large funnel-shaped entrances. The depth of water is rather shallow compared to other types of estuaries but deepens toward the mouth of the river about the refuge NWS. The structure to each estuary differs, but the general shape and characteristics are the same. The water quality of the St. Mark's estuary is greatly influenced by the increasing anthropogenic activity, such as agriculture, industrialization and population increase. The Clean Water Act requires Florida to submit lists of impaired and polluted waters. Of the 101 water segments present at St. Mark's, 37 of them are listed as impaired. These impairments are primarily caused by runoff from waste facilities, mining pits, pesticides and herbicides, and atmospheric deposition. If pollutants and nutrients continue to increase, the waters will become more susceptible to eutrophication and harmful algal blooms ecology and environment 2016. <laughs> 